Welcome back. In this step, we'll define an aspect to intercept the call to the business layer. In the previous steps, we had set up our examples up. So let's now create a new class called and let's call this. I'd want to intercept before the call. So I'll call this before aspect. And also what I'll do is I'll create a new package called aspect. So Spring AOP dot aspect and I'm calling this before aspect. We'll give it a better name a little later. For now, let's focus on what we would want to do inside this. The first thing I would need to define is this is some configuration, right? We need to say this is configuration and we need to say this is related to AOP. The other thing I would need to do is I would need to define what kind of methods I would want to dis intercept. So what kind of method calls I would want to intercept. I would need to define that in here and then I would need to define a method. So I'll call this, let's say for now, public void before. I'll just call this before. And in here, I can define the logic of what to do. When I intercept the method, what do I want to do? That's basically what I would want to define in here. Before that, let's just copy the logger which we have created earlier. So I would just copy this stuff in here. I need the logger. That's cool. So what we'll do for now is so we would want to log something. We'll say logger.info and say intercepted a method call. Intercepted method call. Which method call did we intercept? We need to find out. How do we find out? Let's see that as well. So how we need to use a parameter which would be passed in here. Let's look at that and implement everything in this specific step. So let's get started now. We need to say this is a configuration. How do we say this is a configuration? The spring configuration, right? So add configuration, that's it. And this is an AOP stuff. So I would need to just say this is an aspect. So I would use a annotation called aspect. So I'm saying this is a AOP defined stuff. Now I need to define that this specific method needs to be called before execution of something. So I'll say before and over here to the before method, what I would need to pass in is something called a point cut. I need to define which methods I would want to intercept. So which methods do I want to intercept? Let's look at it right now. Let's say business one over here. I, let's say I would want to intercept the call to calculate something. So right click, copy qualified name. The format for defining something to intercept calls inside a specific package is this defines that any return type. So I want to intercept all methods irrespective of their return type. In a specific package, any class, in a specific package, any class, and I would want to intercept all method calls irrespective of their arguments. So that's basically what we are defining in here. So I'll take this and put it in here. And over here, you can replace package by the package of the things from which we would want to intercept all the calls of. So spring AOP dot business. That's what we would want to intercept. So I'll copy this in here. So remember it's star space, the name of the package dot star dot star and this. So this is the simple thing. So now what we would want to do is just print the intercepted method calls. Let's just run this and see what would happen. You can run the application. I'm running the AOP application that we created. You can see that the Spring AOP application is running and you can see that it prints intercepted method calls in here. So two times it printed intercepted method calls. So two business calls it intercepted. But I have no idea of the details. So how do I get the details? I can add in an argument called join point. Import join point. And now I can say import method calls and I can add in an argument saying join point. Let's see what's get printed. It shows the entire method that is being intercepted. So you can see the entire thing in here. So it's saying intercepted method calls. Actually, let's rename this. It should be intercepted method call. And the intercepted method call is business one dot calculated something. Business two dot calculated some calculate something. You can see that we are intercepting the call and printing something out. And the thing which we are doing is we use the before annotation. So this before annotation intercepts before the call has happened. So 
this is invoked before the actual method is really invoked typically things which would be using the before aspect are things to check for access so for example i would want to check if a user has the right access i'm renaming this need now to user access aspect so i would want to make sure that the user has the right access before i would allow him to execute the method in those kind of situations what i'll do is here the, i i'll not really implement the complete business logic for user access but over here you can actually implement the check so you can say check for user access in here so i can check the user access here and then everything is successful then allowed execution for this method if you do user access check by using aop then the thing is this is applicable to everything in the business layer so you don't really need to implement the access check at every point in every method this is what aop allows us to do so here security we are defining at one place so we are defining at a single place and it is applicable for all the methods in the business layer let's run this and see what would happen it would just print check for user access before all the business methods it says check for user access and allowing execution for check for user access allowing execution for apps there is a small error i guess okay i remove the variable out that's the reason why the join point was not getting printed let's run this right now and you'd see that now everything should be good so checking for user access and then allowed for execution checking for user access allowing for execution so every time we check for the access and allow the execution in in the next step let's play around a little bit more with the point cut until then bye bye